Welcome to this demonstration of Valter's pre-built Microsoft Team request form. The number of organizations choosing to adopt Microsoft Teams has skyrocketed in the past year as a result of the coronavirus pandemic forcing employees to work remotely from home. Microsoft Teams is an excellent platform for organizations to improve communication and collaboration. However, by default, Microsoft will allow any user to be able to create their own Microsoft Team. If you don't have a strict governance of control, this can quickly lead to a runaway train of problems such as duplication of teams or the wrong people having access to sensitive information. In response to this problem, Valto have created a solution built with Microsoft 365 tools to lock down the ability to create teams to a specific group of employees, such as the IT department. Then we introduce our Microsoft Teams request form built with Power Apps to allow employees to request a new team. This Power App can be accessed on all devices, uh, including mobile phones and tablets, as well as being embedded into your SharePoint intranet or into a Microsoft Team, such as we can see here. Now, the first thing we need to do is provide a team name. So I'm going to say this is my, my human resources team. The visibility, so who is going to be able to see this, whether by default it's going to be locked down or anybody in the organization could join it. So I'm going to say private. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a bit of a purpose. Now, what I suggest you do in here is you put in some text around what this team is going to be used for. Now, this can easily then help the IT department when they come to approve the team to know if there's any duplications or cross purposes between the different teams. So I'm just going to paste in here uh, my purpose. So this is essentially just so my team can use this um, to communicate and collaborate on internal projects. Next, I'm going to set the owners. Now, this can be multiple people, but just for now, I'm just going to select one person here, which is going to be myself. And then I'm going to select who the members of my team are. So who is actually going to have access to this particular team? So in this case, I'm going to select it's going to be Faye and it's going to be Steve. Now, once I'm happy with this and I want to create um, this team, I'm going to click on submit. And what this is going to do is it will confirm to me that my uh, request has been successfully submitted. And then it's going to send an email to the IT department in this case, but it could be uh, a different team that's managing this process, um, which can then choose to either approve or reject my request. When the email comes through, it will look a bit like this. So we can completely customize what this email looks like and the information that it contains. But typically, it will have the team name, the visibility, the owners, the members, and what the purposes of uh, this team will be. And then I can choose to approve or reject. I can even give comments. And that might be useful for the rejection because you might want to go give back a reason to the person why you're rejecting to say, actually, we've already got a HR team, for example, so we're not going to create another one that's called human resources, as that's going to end up with duplication. Once I'm happy, I can click on the submit button, and that will then lock that down. So my request has been submitted. It will then automatically go and create the team for me. So this is another great reason to use this solution. It is going to cut down on the administration time of actually setting up the teams. Give it two minutes, and it's automatically going to create the team for me. I'm going to transition back into my Teams app now, and I can see that my team has been created. And if I go into the management area, I can see that the team members have also been added to my team. There is a one-off fee um, to deploy this, which includes um, the locking down of who can create the Teams, the Microsoft Teams request form itself. Um, this is a one-off cost of £1,800. There's no reoccurring license fees, and all consultations and training materials are provided included as part of this cost. If you're interested in this solution and you'd like to book your own personalised demonstration, please email us today at hello at valto.co.uk.